Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about random experiments, sample space and event. We will understand the definitions. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what probability means and what is biased and unbiased. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. The definitions which we are going to discuss here in this class will help you a lot in understanding our next classes when we, where we are going to discuss about uh, how we find the probability values and all, all those things. Uh. So coming to the definitions, random experiment. Uh, so before going to understand what random experiment means, first we will understand what experiment means. Uh. Experiment means it is, is an physical action or process that is observed and the result is noted. Uh. You do any physical action or a process that process is observed and the result is noted that is what experiment means uh, example drop a pin it is an experiment it may break or it may not break so that is the output you are no, uh, taking taking a note of so this is an experiment now coming to the next definition random experiment means uh, so it's it's little confusion to understand so watch carefully an experiment in which all possible outcomes are known we know when we do the experiment we know what outcomes it is going to get and the exact outcome cannot be predicted in advance that is what random experiment means uh, the exact output cannot be predicted in advance. We know all the possible outcomes, but the exact outcome is cannot be predicted in advance. That is what random experiment means. Uh, anyhow, with example, you, you are going to understand better. If you toss a coin, what's the possible outcomes that you are going to get? It may, if, when you toss a coin, it may show up head, it may show up tail. But what's the exact output that it is going to come? We don't know. It may show up head, it may show up tail. These are the possible outcomes. We cannot predict which outcome it is going to come. That is what random experiment means. Uh. So let's try to understand one more example, which is not a random experiment. Uh. Not a random experiment. Uh. If you boil water, what, what's going to happen? Water will evaporate. You know the output. It's easy to predict the output. Uh. In random experiment, it is it, you cannot predict the output. That is what the difference between experiment and random experiment. Okay, now coming to that uh, sample space. Uh, set of all possible outcomes of an experiment is sample space. Uh, what are all the possible outcomes that you are going to get in a random experiment? That we call it as sample space. Uh, example, toss a coin. What's the possible outcomes that you are going to get? Head, tail. Toss two coins. What are the possible outcomes you are going to get? Head, 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 tail, tail, head, tail, tail. These are the possible outcomes it is going to get if you toss two coins. So the third one is roll a dice. What is the possible outcome you are going to get? One, two, three, four, five, six, any one you, you are going to get. These are the all the possible outcomes. That is what we call it as sample space. Now coming to the next definition, event every non-empty subset of a sample space of a random experiment is called event so every non-empty subset of a sample space we call it as an event with example you will get to understand better toss two coins what's the sample space it may show up head head it may show up head tail tail head tail tail so coming to that this is what we call it as sample space every non-empty subset of this sample space we call it as an event uh, means when you toss two coins showing two heads is an event uh, so how many possibilities are there showing two heads one possibility head head one more event one more event getting exactly one head exactly one head uh, there are two possibilities showing that uh, is an event uh, exactly one head it is an event uh, so what what are the possibilities that you are having that are showing one head on the uh, one exactly one head either first one shows head second one shows tail either first one shows tail second one shows head these are the possible events that you are going to uh, obtain a required event okay so from the sample space what are the possible subsets non-empty subsets 
of the sample space we call it as an event so if you understand these definitions it's very easy to understand the remaining concepts which we are going to discuss in our coming classes hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you